Hey everyone, welcome back to Pabli and in this video you will learn how you can send messages to any telegram group from a table directly. So this automation will help you in keeping the record of the notification or the messages that you are sending to any telegram group. And with the help of this automation, you also don't have to copy paste the messages between Airtable and Telegram group repetitive, repetitively. So this will help you in saving your time and energy, which can be used in other productive aspects of your work. Okay, so now let me show you how this automation is going to work. So the flow of this autom automation is going to look like this as and when you enter a message in a row in a table that you have in Airtable. The same message will be delivered in a group that you have in Telegram automatically. Okay, so to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part of setting up this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So anyone can set up this automation very easily. So now let's set up this automation together. So the first step to set up this automation is to log in into your Pavli Connect account. So guys to reach here, you can use the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes and that will provide you 100 free automation tasks for every new month. Okay, after that you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. Okay, and here you have to set up this automation by creating a workflow. So to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button and here you have to give a name, a suitable name to your work, workflow. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as send messages on Telegram from Airtable automatically. Now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay. And on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. So the trigger is happening of any event and the action is the response to the trigger. Okay, as in our use case, the trigger is uh, adding of a new row in a table in which you are uh, entering the details of message and the response or the action towards that trigger would be to send the same message on telegram group. Okay, so first of all, you have to set up this trigger click here on this uh, trigger window. And from this choose app field, you have to choose the trigger application. Uh, in our case, it is Airtable. So select Airtable from here. This is it. Select it. And in the trigger event, you have to select a new record. So it will trigger this workflow when a new record is available. Select this. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. And here it will ask for the token or the API key to make the connection with Airtable. So you will find the API key uh, from the account section of Airtable. Let me show you how you can find that. So guys, this is my Airtable's base. And here you can see I am entering the message details as this the project title. So this message is about a new project. Okay, so here I am entering the project title. I'm entering the description, the due date and to the uh, I'm entering the name of the person to whom this project or task is assigned to. So this is kind of a task assigning message. Okay. And this is the trigger field, which is a customized field. And the, uh, the type of this field, let me show you is this created time. So you should have this field in telegram. I'll tell you why. First of all, let me make the connection by finding the API key. Uh, so from this profile icon, I'm going to account section and a new page will open up. And from here, when you scroll down, you will find this API key here. So just copy this key and paste this key here in this token field and click on save and you will be connected with Airtable. Okay, so we are connected with Airtable and now we are going to fetch the data, the test data of any message that we have entered here in this table in Pabli Connect and with the help of that message, we are going to move forward in this automation. Okay, so here it is asking for the base. So guys, uh, in Airtable, you have to create a base and in that base, you have to uh, create a table. So this is the base I am using telegram group updates. So you have to find this base from this base field, the name of the base. Okay. So it will show you all the bases that you have in Airtable, and the base I'm using is this one telegram group updates this one. Okay. 
So after selecting the base, you have to select the table. So it is automatically selected because we have only one table right now, which is this telegram updates. Okay, so it is selected here. And now it is asking for the trigger field. So this is a necessary thing, you must have a trigger field uh, in a tables base. And that field should be like this. So you have to have a field here. You can give any name to this, uh, any header to this field or the column. And you have to customize this field type as this created time. You have to select created time field. You have to select the format of the time and the hours and click on save. And uh, so what it will do when you select this created time field, it will uh, record the creation date and time of any new row that you are entering here. Okay. So as you can see, as I have entered this data here, this message here, the creation date and time is captured by this field. Okay. So as and when this date and time is captured, this workflow will trigger and the data will be fetched. Okay. So uh, when I click now on save and send test request, a test data, that means the data of uh, any one row from here, from our uh, air table space will be captured here in Pavli Connect. Let me show you how I'm clicking on save and send test request. And you can see we got the data here in this response section. And here you can see we have this project title, Pavli form builder, let me show you. So the uh, data of the second row is fetched here in Pavli Connect field description, field assigned to due date and all these data is here. Okay. Now we got the test data and we are going to move forward in this automation. Now we want to send the same message that we captured here in that group that I have in telegram. Okay. So for this, what you have to do, you have to connect your telegram application in this action step. Okay. So search for telegram. This is telegram bot select it. And in the action event, you have to select this send a text message or a reply option. So it will send a text message. Okay, with HTML support, then click on connect. And from this window, add new connection. And here it is asking for the token. So to enter the token here, you have to follow these steps written here, you have to create a new bot in uh, telegram and that bot will deliver the message. Okay. So uh, let me show you the process, you can follow these instructions, let me show you the process. So guys, uh, you have to search for bot father here in the search bar of uh, telegram. When you search bot b o t bot, let me show you bot father. Okay, so it will show you this bot father icon in this blue tick. So you have to select this blue tick bot father option. And here you have to type this, let me show you. So you can see here in the instructions, you have to type a slash new bot in the message to bot father. Okay. So when you search for bot father, you have to put uh, uh, this slash new bot. Okay. Slash new bot. Okay. Send it. Right. So then it will ask, uh, all right, a new bot, how are we going to call it? Please choose a name for a bot. So you have to give a name to this bot. So I am uh, typing the name as a table bot. Okay. So uh, we have given the name to this bot. Now it is asking for a username for uh, to this bot. So now you have to give a username to this bot. So you can put the username and it must end in bot. You can see it has given the example Tetris bot or Tetris underscore bot. So here I'm entering the username as a table underscore one underscore bot. Okay. And you can see a new bot is created here. It is saying congratulations on your new bot and you will find it at this link. And this is the API token which we needed. So you, you just copy this token from here. First you can copy this token. Okay, and paste this token in this token field in public connect, then click on save. And guys, you will find this bot here from this link. This is our Airtable bot. Okay, and you have to add this bot in a group 
that in which you want to send the messages okay so you can do this with the help of mobile application i cannot show you here but you can easily add this bot in a group that you want to send the message okay so i have this group in telegram named as team pably and i have added my new bot in this group you can see a table bot okay now i want to send uh, messages to this group from a table only and now it is asking uh, so and we are connected with a uh, telegram now it is asking for the chat id so guys you can find the chat id from the url of your telegram group if you have opened if you have opened your group you will find if uh, you can see you can read the instructions to get chat id if you want to message to a group you can use this kind of chat id if you want to message to user you can use this let me show you i have opened this group and in the top search bar you can see i have this uh, data and i am going to copy this number this one after hashtag i am going to select this string of numbers and i am copying this and you have to paste this chat id here like this okay mm -hmm. and now it is asking for the text message that you want to send okay and you can enable or disable the notifications for this messages and you can enable or disable the link of the previews if you're sending any link i'm making it no and let me type the message here so guys i have typed the message like this and here i'm going to use the data that we have captured in the first tab like this okay and i have framed this message as this you can see hello team and this is regarding and after the regarding i'm going to map the uh, details that we have got in the first tab I'm going to map this project title, the description and all these things. Let me show you how. So to map these things, you just have to click here in front of this regarding and in the drop down, you will find this A table new record option. And when you click on it, you will find, you will find the data that you have captured from the first step. And from here only, I'm going to map the project title. Just want to notify about and here I'm going to map uh, this thing. Let me show you the description this is the description and this task is assigned to and here i am going to map the name of the assignee okay like this let me show you and the due date of this task also i am going to map here from the same place this is the due date okay and we are done now We're mapping the details and our message is ready so when you map these things what will happen these things will change accordingly in a new message as and when you enter the details of the message here in this table okay so these things that we have mapped is going to change with every new message and this frame will remain as it is okay so uh, now let's check our connection with telegram is if it is working properly or not so i am clicking on save and send test request and a test message will be delivered in my group so here you can see we got this response and you can see we, we have received a new message here in my group in telegram let me show you the message and this is the message you can see hello team this is regarding pably form builder just want to notify about it. it's a great service for creating beautiful forms with inbuilt templates so this is just an example i have shown you and this task is assigned to markers and this is the due date and this is how a message will appear okay so connection is working fine with telegram and we are done setting up this automation now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all in the trigger i connected a table i selected the base and the table and i fetched the data the test data of a row here in public connect after that i connected telegram and with the help of a bot and this chat id i have uh, delivered this message that i mapped here okay and guys, you have to set up this automation and map the data only once. After that, you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow. After that, you just have to enter the details here like this of any new message and the message will be delivered automatically here in, in your group. Okay. And guys, the good part is you can use this same workflow that I have just created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel